If you're looking to give gifts to kids for the holiday season, let me be your personal shopper. Sure, you could buy the kid a dollhouse or a train set or a Lego, and I know I have a bias here, but I think it's better for all involved if you just buy the kid a book. No assembly is required, you don't need batteries, and it's likely that the kid already has a mountain of Lego in the closet anyway. But how to choose? Well, here are eight authors who write books loved by children of all ages. I'll start with books for the youngest readers. You can't go wrong with Sandra Boynton, who has written over 75 books populated by her cleverly drawing animals and her endearing voice, including such classics as Hippos Go Berserk, Moo Ba La La La, The Going to Bed Book, Barnyard Dance, and A to Z. We revere this author so deeply that we've established an entire imprint, Boynton Bookworks, just to publish titles by her. This year, we've got a new book that's perfect for the holidays, and the title says it all, Moo Ba Fa La 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 La. For children who are a little bit older, consider the new picture book, Creepy Crayon, by the best-selling team of Aaron Reynolds and Peter Brown. Their first book, Creepy Carrots, won a Caldecott honor, and their second book, Creepy Pair of Underwear, was equally admired. All of these books feature Jasper, a slightly cantankerous rabbit whose imagination sometimes seems to be playing tricks on him in ways that are a little bit spooky and highly amusing. In Creepy Crayon, Jasper confronts a magical crayon that seems to have a mind of its own. This is one of those rare picture books that parents and children will both love to read. For elementary and middle school readers, here are three authors for you. Stuart Gibbs is one of the most entertaining, popular, and prolific authors at work today. He is the creator of the hugely successful Spy School series about a group of secret young agents in training, which has sold millions of copies and appeals equally to boys and girls, usually between the ages of 8 and 12. But that's only a part of Stuart Gibbs' creative world, which we call the Stooniverse. He's also the author of the best-selling Fun Jungle series, set at the world's most intriguing zoo, the Charlie Thorne series, about a young genius who is also a thief, and his first illustrated series, Once Upon a Tim, which follows the historical adventures of a peasant boy in medieval times. No matter what he's writing, Stuart Gibbs is a lot of fun. Shannon Messenger is the creator of the best-selling Keeper of the Lost Cities series, which is about a girl named Sophie who discovers she's from another world that exists side by side with ours, and one that has given her amazing abilities. Keeper of the Lost Cities has been captivating readers since 2012. Every year since then, she has published a new book in the series for a devoted and growing following, and in Stellar Loon, Sophie and her friends discover the true meaning of power and evil. This is a book for girls and boys who love to read about fantasy and adventure. Jason Reynolds is one of the most acclaimed authors we publish. He's written more than a dozen books for young readers, most of which have won awards and been bestsellers. We recently published a graphic edition of his classic, Long Way Down, so that might be a good place to start. Some of his other works are Ghost, which was a finalist for the National Book Award, and his recent illustrated middle grade novel, Stunt Boy in the Meantime, about a great young superhero with a little bit of anxiety. Shannon Messenger and Jason Reynolds both straddle the worlds of middle grade and young adult, but the final three authors I want to recommend are firmly in teen terrain. Neil Shusterman is the author of the Scythe series of books, which are set in a future world where humans have ended death, but death still comes in the form of reapers called scythes, who are empowered to take people's lives in order to maintain a balanced population. His latest work, Gleanings, is a story set in this remarkable world. Jenny Han has become a pop culture sensation with the success of her books, movies, and TV series. She's the creator of two trilogies of YA romance novels, To All the Boys I Loved Before, which became a series of hit movies on Netflix, and the Summer I Turn Pretty series, which premiered this year on Prime Video and became one of the hits of the summer. The phenomenal 23-year-old author Chloe Gong is back with her third novel in three years. Her first two, Our Violent Delights and Our Violent Ends, were an audacious reimagining of Romeo and Juliet set in 1930s Shanghai, and both became New York Times bestsellers. 
In her new novel, Foul Lady Fortune, some of her previous characters return, but this time the inspiration comes from Shakespeare's As You Like It, and she tells the tale of a poorly matched pair of spies posing as a married couple while investigating a series of murders. I hope you find these shopping tips useful, and I also hope you have a very happy holiday season. And that is the word according to CARP.